Hey guys, Amy here. Um, today I'm going to be talking about branding. Uh, there are 370,000 unique presenters that are selling the exact same product as you are. So, what makes you different? Why are they going to buy from you over someone else that adds them to a virtual party on Facebook? You need to make yourself unique, you need to make yourself known, and you need to build relationships. So, branding is something that we all need to do. First and foremost, you're going to buy a domain name. There's a file for this. It's called How to Create and Forward a Domain. Um, but basically what a domain is, is a www dot whatever you'd like your business website to be dot com. Okay, this is just a forwarding website. It's going to forward you to your unique current party. So you don't have to design a website. It is 119 exactly for one year with that website. So before choosing a domain, um, make sure you've gone over all your options. The last thing you want to do is change your domain. Um, you want to pick one and stick with it because you're going to be ordering business cards and blitz cards. Maybe you're designing thank you notes and thank you stickers. Whatever you're doing, you want to pick that domain name wisely. Think of something that describes you. Um, Ana Luisa's Beauty Bar. Mine is glamandvanity.com. I have another teammate who is Blink and Pout. Or just make it your name, racheljunique.com. It needs to come out easy. People need to remember it in their mind, so it has to be short and simple. And when they think of you, make sure they think, you know, oh, those two connect. Simplebeautychick.com. Don't wear a lot of makeup. You're very simple. Okay, that rings a bell. That's Colleen. Make sure that you're doing a good job branding your domain name to you and who you are. After you do that domain, we will forward it to your current party link. These domains need to be forwarded every 10 days to a new party link. This is really important because if you forget and someone goes to your website to order and the correct forwarding isn't on, that's a problem. It's not going to be ordered in that correct link. So every 10 days, take notice, write down on a calendar, hey, I need to schedule a new party link and re-forward it again. It takes two to three minutes, especially after you've done it a couple times. So that's step number one. Business cards, whatever special unique is doing. Um, last year they did 100 new business cards for new presenters. This year it's 50% off your business cards as well as 25% off anything else on the site. So whatever their current special is for the new presenters, jump on that. The sooner you get business cards and buy a domain, the sooner people think you're legit. Oh, she's got a website and business cards? Okay, it is a business. Okay, and that's something you can hand out to people to start a conversation or they ask what you're doing. You have that in your hand. So you put that domain as well as your phone number and your email and maybe your Instagram account um, on that business card and get those ordered. Something else that I like to hand out to customers that just buy the mascara are the medium sized blitz cards. Uh, you can design them, there's options there. A blitz card gives other product information. So I have the one that is your Unique's top 10 best sellers. Okay, that'll show you the top 10 other products that you can purchase. And on the back of that Blitz card, it gives you the name of the product and the price and then has all your information as a presenter. So that's something basically showing people, hey, we don't just sell mascara. These are actually our top 10 best selling products. So that's another thing that you can do. Put your website, your phone number, your email, and that's something you can hand out as well. You can order catalogs. Uh, catalogs are $2 a piece. So I don't give catalogs to just anybody. Like I will hand out the Blitz cards or the business cards. If they ask for a catalog and have ordered from me before, yes, I absolutely give them. If I'm doing a home party, yes, I absolutely give them. But remember, you don't need to just be handing $2 to every person you meet, especially if you don't think that they're actually interested. So that's your call. I always keep catalogs in hand. There are some people that, you know, like to look through it on their own time and aren't computer savvy because we do have a flipbook catalog on our website um, that you can give to people also. 
Next, there is a two-a-day challenge post in our training group, the Glam Fam. This is something that gives you posting ideas to post one a day on your wall, um, two a day on your wall, one every two days on your wall, whatever you decide is best for you. But you do need to be posting on your personal wall. Um, if you're just posting in your VIP group twice a week, somebody could have left it. Somebody could have turned off the notifications. Um, you just don't know who is looking, um, who is seeing it, but you do know that they're looking at your personal wall. You do want to keep your personal wall 80% personal, 20% business, because if you're 100% business, people are going to unfollow you. You need to keep unique as part of your life. Um, so you're not going to not post about it. Otherwise, people don't remember you're running a business. If you don't post about unique for five days in a row, they're not going to remember that you're doing it. If you post every single day, once a day, some simple, non-salesy, no-link post, if they left your launch party, they'll remember. Oh, she still sells that makeup. And they might keep scrolling. The more consistent you are, the more pe people take notice. The more successful you are, the more people take notice. So you do need to be posting on your personal wall. If you need to hide some people from that, if you're doing two direct sales companies, if you're afraid someone might judge you, whatever you'd like, you can hide a person from those posts. Um, however, those posts are taken from my sponsor, a larger group. So 10,000 people potentially could be posting the exact same thing as you, okay? Those are ideas for you. If you can replicate it with a selfie or replicate a look with the palette three or, you know, put together a makeup look or hold your own eyelash curler and show your results, always best. If you can show what these products do on your face, you'll get more sales. So I love the two-a-day post, especially when you're getting started and you're not quite sure what to post or where to find the graphics. These are awesome. You need to get started on these. As soon as you start collecting all of the products and can put it together yourself, um, for instance, you have acne over here and so you take a picture of the before acne and then use the pressed powder, use your before and after so that it's personal. Like I said, people are buying from you. They want to see how the products are changing you and your appearance as opposed to some graphic that is obviously not you. So, make it about you. Do different looks. I know that it's difficult to put makeup on every day. Well, for me it is. I am having a hard time selling to my friends that I see on a daily basis because they don't see me in makeup. Okay, so I have made a point this year, every single day so far, before I drop my daughter off, I put a different combination of makeup on my face because they're going to notice. For the first week, they asked me where I was going for a week. Today, they just said I love your lipstick, okay? I'm not selling them. I didn't hand them a business card. They're friends with me on Facebook. They know I sell makeup, but they see me wearing it and promoting it on a daily basis and switching up my colors and maybe today they like my lipstick and maybe tomorrow they'll like the other choice that I did. Um, but you need to be branding yourself, you need to be out there, you need to be promoting the makeup, and you need to be selling yourself by building those relationships with people. Do not let me see, please buy from me here with a link. This is not okay. This is the same thing as sending group messages. People don't get on Facebook to be sold to. They get on Facebook to be entertained. Is your profile entertaining? I think my profile is entertaining. I think I post something hilarious. Maybe you don't think it's hilarious, but I do, and that's my profile. I post something I think is hilarious, inspirational, some picture of my kids, some recipe, some article I liked, and a business post, okay? If you're going to post two business posts, you need to be posting three to four personal posts. So think about it. If you want to post one business post a day, find two personal posts that you like. Steal mine. Steal someone else's. I steal people's inspirational photo or funny photo all the time. We're hitting different audiences and you'll be able to tell who's unfollowed you if you post a really cute announcement that you're pregnant and you get no likes, okay? 
So you keep it real on your profile. Uh, and when you get 200 likes on a photo that you're pregnant, then you rest assured your next post, everybody that liked that photo now sees your business post. So once you post something that got a lot of likes or a lot of attention, you make your next post a business post. Mix it up. Do not say buy from me here. Guys, please buy from me. Please, I need to sell one bronzer, one foundation, one lip gloss, and then I get a pay raise. No, no one is gonna buy from you. Do not do that. Put the mascara on your face with the lip gloss and the bronzer and say, I love my makeup today. That's it. Someone might comment and say, what are you wearing? That looks great. There is an entire chat for this. It's called Selling Without Selling. It is sharing your love for the product. Put it on your own face. Take some selfies. Make an application video. Videos are where I made my whole business making application videos. If you've seen them, you know I don't have great skin. I don't know what happened. I had my third kid and my skin looks like I'm 12 again, okay? People wanna see you. Are you older? Do you have wrinkles? Try Uplift. Share your personal results. Show what the makeup looks like on you. Are you super young and running your own business out of college? Show people you're making money doing this. Show them your looks. You know, you're probably wearing heavier makeup than I am if you're going out every night. You'll have way cooler eyeshadow than this. Make it your own for your own market. Okay, make sense? Work on branding. This is really, really, really important. Non-salesy, no links, branding. Thanks for watching, guys.